Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install steering wheel control kit. Uh, this is what comes in the kit from us and you're going to need these tools to complete the installation. So first things first, you're going to remove the side covers. Um, this is just off your original wheel. Just place them to the side as you'll pop them back on again. Okay, next thing we're going to be doing is loosening up the horn pad. So you're just going to loosen the two screws on either side. Make sure you don't actually take them out, we're just going to be loosening them. Next we're going to bring forward the airbag really gently. You're going to unplug the detonator now, so you're just going to flick the little yellow switch, unplug the orange plug, and you're going to turn the horn pad around and unplug the horn. Okay, next thing we're going to be doing is unscrewing the black insert so we can put in the steering wheel controls. So just make sure you put those screws on the side because we will be needing them again later. When you are taking off the inserts, you do have to give a little bit of force. Um, so I preferably start from the bottom um, and they will come out a little bit easier. After you've taken those inserts out, we're just going to be lining up the steering wheel controls that come in the kit. Um, so you just want to make sure that all plugs are out of the way and that they line up to the screw holes that um, we just unscrewed before. Then you're going to click them in once you have them in place. So you just click them in at the bottom and then you grab those two screws and just screw them in. Now we're going to be plugging in the wireless steering wheel module. So it's literally just plug and play. So you're plugging in that white plug just there. We're going to unscrew the screw from the steering wheel control. And the ground wire is going to screw into that side. Now we're going to be connecting that module into the horn. So you're just gonna grab that cable and plug them straight in. After you have done that, we're just going to get some electrical tape and we're going to cover that wire there. Okay, now we're going to take off the detonator from your old horn pad and we're going to be placing it on the new horn pad. So just unscrew the back. You're going to take off that detonator and place it on your new horn pad. Then we're just going to basically screw it back in again.
So we're just going to tuck away those cords now as we're going to be placing that new horn pad on. So we just want to make sure everything is out of the way. It's best to just tuck them all up at the top. Once you have done that, we're just going to do exactly what we disconnected before. So just that orange plug is going to connect back into the detonator and make sure that yellow switch is clicked in. Then we're going to plug the horn in. After you've plugged in your detonator and horn, we're just going to click in that airbag and then screw it in again on the side to tighten. Now you're going to grab your side covers again and just click them back on, on either side. And you're all done. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be posting up another video of a head unit installation and we'll show you how you connect that head unit to your steering wheel controls. See ya!